Hello and welcome. Have you ever wondered in a short distance of say uh, 100 meters or maybe 150, 120 meters? How it is possible in this short range of distance that our fighter aircrafts takes off especially from the warships. So, there are technology behind that. In, in defense, we learn the technologies. One of the technology is catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. This is also known as catobar. So, there are catobar and emuls etc. In this particular topic, we will see exactly what happens. So, when it when we have done this in our, uh, a, when we were uh, very small and people still do it, it is called catapult. In Hindi, we call it gulel. So, if the same technology is being used where a catapult is attached to a fighter jet irrespective of the weight and it is then posed along. This is posed along with such a huge force that it manages to take off from a warship within a short distance. So, this is how fighter crafts are take off and how will you, I mean explain how they land in it. So, what, what exactly happens here, suppose this is a fighter jet, it is landing. So, there is a tail hook in this structure that is being attached to the fighter aircraft and wires, 4 to 5 wires are placed in the warship. As you can see, you see in this particular diagram, this is the tail hook, these are the wires, this is known as arresting wire and that is why is it, it, this is known as arrested. So, these wires get, these wires are placed in which these hooks get stuck and eventually this comes to an halt. Let us see a life example and how the main uh, challenge with this is that this entire system is based on steam. The steam is generated and since you know if you uh, do not provide enough velocity for a particular tire to roll out and give initial jerk, usually the life of tires are reduced. So, in this particular technology, the life of tires is usually less. This is one of the disadvantage. Let us uh, see this live. As you can see, this is the strip in which this is like used as a catapult and it is sent. What we have just learned, this is the strip on which that catapult is being placed, the steam is generated, this is the catapult and it is being given velocity. So, as you, as you can see, these all were steams, it is a steam generated. In different type of launching, electromagnets were used. So, we will use, I will try, I have tried various methods so that you can see what exactly, what is the actual picture that is being used in the defense technology. So, I will see you in the lectures. Thank you.